I'm Cheda Sinai Burney. I'm the managing partner for Citrine Power. We, Citrine Power is a developer of um, medium scale distributed generation solar and storage projects. We're based out of Connecticut and our primary markets are the Northeastern markets, New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Connecticut. Um, and we're the original developers of this project. Right on. Um, so tell me, Chella, how do you go about developing a project like this? How, what gets you started on how do you go, how do you start? About. Um, we're always looking for suitable sites um, for a variety of applications. We're agnostic between ground mounts, rooftops and parking lots. And um, we were very closely watching the community solar program in New Jersey at its infancy when the rules were being uh, put together. And um, we came about uh, the Blue Army Shrine site. Uh, they already have a lot of parking lot because it's a pilgrimage site more or less. Um, they have large bus parking lots, as uh, you see at the background, perhaps. Um, and it's contained. We didn't really have to change the landscape at all. So we thought it was a very good opportunity. And our vision of community solar aligned very much with the shrines and the board's uh, vision as well. So everything kind of fit perfectly. What are some of the difficulties and obstacles you had to resolve? I think the, the two the biggest obstacle was interconnection um, for us on this specific project. We had to cut down the size of our project uh, by half almost, but um, the community solar program in New Jersey is new. Uh, it's new for everyone, including us um, and the utilities. We were able to resolve it um, you know, in a way where actually the project was made possible. Um, so the utility, uh, our interconnecting utility was working with us to actually make it happen but that was probably our biggest um, um, hurdle that we had to pass and just in general the gestation period of the uh, development process because waiting for um, you know some of the regulations like like everything new when you're doing something for the first time because this is part of the first community solar pilot program um, you know there's always um, you know the different hurdles that you can't even foresee during the development process that you had to overcome but overall it worked out uh, are there possibilities for other organizations like the blue army shrine or other other nonprofits, other congregations to have projects like these absolutely i think it's a great fit community solar projects in general especially the ones that are targeting low and medium income households like the ones in new jersey are great opportunities uh, for nonprofits, A, for themselves to actually create some funds by leasing their property to developers like us, to get uh, discounted power by participating into the community solar program and helping the, uh, their communities, um, you know, especially the low and medium income um, uh, residents and others, uh, by helping them uh, buy discounted renewable power. So overall, nonprofits are great, uh, gr uh, great you know, uh, candidates for these kinds of projects. Um, my last question for you, Chela, is do you feel that affordable renewable energy for everyone is important for the future of the state and the planet? And why do you think? Yes, absolutely. Um, energy equality is one of the most important challenges that we're actually facing right now in the face of climate change and generally in the face of, you know, inequalities that we have across the board. Um, New Jersey and um, other states have been doing a great job in trying to address that and we're very proud that we're participating in solving some of those problems.